Hey guys, we're gonna be working on um, some hyperbolas, basically drawing and solving hyperbolas. Alright, let's get started. So here's an example of a question. We have um, an equation, x squared over 25 minus y squared over 16 equals 1. We want to determine the center, the vertices, the foci, and the equation of the asymptotes. And then we're going to try and draw the hyperbola. So our first step is we're going to try and figure out the center. Well, this is the obvious one. Because there's no changes in x and y, it's going to be at 0 and 0. The next one is vertices. To work out the vertices, we're going to square root 25 because that's a squared. So a is equal to plus or minus 5. The next thing is, uh, you might see the little dots, but um, it'll make sense soon. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the asymptotes. Now, the asymptotes are y is equal to plus or minus b over ax. So, we're going to have y is equal to, now, uh, b is 16. So, square root of 16 is 4. And so, we're going to have 4 over 5x as the equation for, for our asymptotes. And as you can see, there's our graph. The blue lines represent the asymptotes, and the red, the two red dots at five and negative five represent the vertices. And the yellow, you can't kind of, you can't really see it, but um, it is at the center where at zero and zero is. Okay. What happens if the center is moved is what we'll be looking at in the next question. So, going on. Okay. In this question. I've asked you to sketch x minus 2 squared over 25 minus y plus 1 squared over 16 equals 1. Now you'll notice that the denominators a squared and b squared were the same as last, uh, the previous example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, I'm going to just show you what the previous example looked like with our two asymptotes. Now, because of um, the x minus 2 and y plus 1, the center is now going to move. So the center will actually move uh, two spaces to the right on the x-axis and y would actually move to on the y-axis. Um, the center would move, let's see, well, negative 1 because it's y plus 1. So in other words, everything is going to move, move by... Uh, 2 on the x-axis and negative 1 on the y-axis. So as you can see, the graph has actually shifted 2 to the right and 1 down. And as you can see, the, the center has moved 2 spots to the right and 1 down. And the asymptotes, well, the asymptotes are still going to be the same because they're b over a. And b over a is going to be 4 over 5, negative 4 over 5 and positive 4 over 5x. Okay, now I'm going to move on to um, um, a different type of question. Similar to ellipsis, you could also get um, equations where you will need to learn how to complete the square. Um, exactly the same theory as an ellipsis, except you'll have a little minus next to the y squares. So I'm going to collect my x x's first. So I have 4 squared plus 8x. Uh, just factorize it. And now I shall complete the square. And of course, half of 2 is 1, and 1 squared is 1, and I'll have to take away 4 to compensate for completing the square. So this could be written as 4x plus 1 squared, negative minus 4. Okay, now I'll have a look at the y's. Got negative 25y squared plus 150y. Take the common factor of negative 25 out. Then I'll complete the square, where I should get y squared minus 6y plus 9. And I've got to add 225 to compensate for the negative 25 times positive 9. And of course, this could be simplified as negative 25 bracket y minus 3 squared plus 225. Okay. Just to... Because I need some more space, I'm going to continue with this problem in the next slide. 
Okay, so we had already completed the square in the previous slide for the x's and for the y's. So rearranging this, um, I'm going to collect all the constants and it'll equal 100. And if I divide by 4 and 25, I should end up with this equation right here. And as you can see, the center is going to be at negative 1 and positive 3. So everything is, uh, the entire hyperbola is going to move one space to the left and three spaces above. And that's how the graph should look like. As you can see, the vertices from the center, try and draw this, from the center, you can see that it actually goes about five, wow, this is very sensitive, it goes about five spaces um, to the right, and on the other side it goes five spaces to the left. Okay, that's it from this session. Thank you for watching.